Education Management Group 1 Lernadia Ramos Leia N. Mendoza Arnold N. Batumbacal John A. Peralta and Shaira L. Payuno Change in Education Prepared by Shaira L. Payuno Change is defined to make different in something particular while transformation is defined as a true dramatic change in form of appearance. Change versus transformation. In change, we use external influence to modify action, while in transformation, it modifies belief so action become neutral and thereby achieved by desired result. Management refers as a process of dealing with people or controlling things. Change management in schools requires knowledge of the basic change management, including change models that can provide a framework for change management in primary or in higher education. Implementing change in schools can easily go off the trails and cause a change to fail or not produce the desired result. People can be confused about what to do, persist the change altogether, or have inadequate training on the new process. Organizational change in education it's easier when people leading and managing change are using change management best practices. This includes an outline of procedures for leading change in education that takes the stakeholders into consideration. Successful change management in education institutions uses change tools and methodologies to implement and sustain change. According to Lisa Burrell, 2014, the quote from the 1532 calls to mind an old, old adage, The more things change, the more they stay the same. Whether you are a principal, an e-learning coordinator, or a department head, change is constant. And successful change is one of the key challenges faced in every profession. In an environment where technology is evolving on a daily basis and becoming a larger and larger focus in education, the rate of change can often speed up and overload that can occur an increasingly out there ideas are tried. Working with various groups to implement change, she has seen and be a part of the myriad of change approaches in the environment within a variety of workplaces. One of the main observations she shared is that no matter how good the idea, if it requires staff engagement but is handled poorly on the outset, the change process will be significantly more difficult and could fail. In the context of the workplace, whether it is a business or a school, change can be defined as a variation to current workplace practices, structures, directions, workforce, or any other key aspect of an organization. Education change comes in many forms, implementing new technology, adding new premises, Restructuring the school, including measures, changing the way the lesson taught, and curriculum change. Anyone leading and managing change in education are using a change model. You will see that activities involve both peoples and process. First, we will discuss the process and then move to, on to people or the part of the change. In order to implement change such as digital transformation, or smoothly transition during mergers and acquisitions, it is important to effectively plan ahead and structure the whole project. In order to do so, it is useful to follow existing change management models. Let's take a look into five most popular change management models. Cotter's change management theory is one of the most popular and adopted ones in the world. This model has each stages and each then focuses on employee's response to change. Step 1. Increase urgency. Creating a sense of urgency among the employees may be the best way to motivate and engage them during the process. Step 2. Build the team. Determine the right set of skills and personalities for the team that will be responsible for driving change within the organization. Step 3. Get the vision correct. Take into account not just the strategy, but also employees' creativity, emotions, and project objectives. Step 4. Be transparent and frequently communicate with people about the change being implemented. Step 5. Get things moving. 
get support, remove the roadblocks, and collect feedbacks in a constructive way. Step 6. Focus on short-term goals. Don't just focus on the end result. Set small goals and recognize small achievements during the process to boost employees' morale. Step 7. Incorporate change. Reinforce and make change a part of the workplace culture. Help employees adjust and reward them for the new behaviors. Step 8. Don't give up. Change don't happen overnight, and obstacles are, are un unavoidable. Be persistent while the process of change management is going on. No matter how tough things may seem. And why we like this model? Cutter's change management model is pretty easy to follow and incorporate. Our favorite part for this model is that it focuses on preparing employees for change rather than change implementation itself. The focus on employee experience and proper workplace communication is one of the reasons why this one is the most commonly used change management models. McKinsey 7S Change Model Management or McKinsey 7S Framework or Model is one of the longest lasting change management models out there. This model consists of seven crucial categories that companies or schools should be aware of when implementing change. The first one is the strategy. It is a change management plan that should consist of a step-by-step -step procedure or of a future plan. Second, structure. This factor is related to the structure in which the organization is divided or the structure it follows. Step three, systems. This change focuses on the systems that will be used to complete the day-to-day -day tasks or activities. Step four, shared values refer to the core or main values of an organization to which it runs at our works. Step 5. Style. The manner in which a change is adopted or implemented is known as style. 6. The staff refers to the workforce or employees and their working capabilities. 7. The competencies as well as other skills possessed by the employees for the organization. Why we like this model? It is unlike most other models. This model focuses on all the important factors that change may impact. While most of their models represent some kind of process or workflow, McKinsey's model simply reminds us of all the business and aspects, or reminds of all the business aspects that should be defined before the change strategy is implemented. Odd car change management model can be used by change managers to find out the various gaps in the process so that effective training can be offered to the employees or to the teachers. Even though OutGuard model focuses on business-oriented goals, it can be very useful to support employees to more easily go through the process of change. It can also be used in the school. OutGuard model stands for awareness of the need of the requirement for change, desire to bring and be part of change, knowledge of how to drive change, ability to incorporate change on a regular basis, enforcement to keep and implemented and reinforced later on as well. So meaning A stands for awareness, D stands for desire, K star stands for knowledge, K stands for ability, and R stands for enforcement. This change management model is great solution for companies or schools that are trying to look under both business or school management and people dimension of change. Unlike other change management model, this model focuses on identification and evaluation of the reason why change is working or not, and why desired results are not being obtained. The Clover Ross Change Curve. This is the model that is very different from the others in the sense that it is 100% employee oriented. The model can also be applied to other life situations such as loss of job, changes in work, and other less serious health conditions. This model helps employers to understand better their employees and empathize with them. This model consists of five stages through which your employees may be going during organizational changes, or referred as the teachers. First one is the shock, or surprise or shock during the event, like in the pandemic that we are facing right now. Second is the denial. In this stage, employees are not willing to or unable to accept change. This happens because most people show resistance toward change and may not want to believe what is happening.
Anger or frustration. In this model, it assumes that when the news first get absorbed, anger follows. Denial converts into anger when employees realize that the change is actually happening. Bargaining or uh, frustration. During the bargaining stage, the employees try to get to the best possible solution out of the situation or circumstances. Bargaining is a way for people to avoid ending up with the worst case scenario. And then depression. When employees realize that bargaining is not working, they may end up getting depressed or may lose faith. Some of the symptoms include low energy, no commitment or non-commitment, low motivation and lack of any kind of excitement or happiness. And then acceptance. When employees realize that there is no point in fighting change anymore, they may finally accept what is happening and may begin to resign to it. Or else simply accept the change. So that is where the integration or change in integrated or renewed individual. They will go to change their perspective and follow what is being changed or go with the flow. We we'll love this model because this change management model is focused on employees, their feelings, concern, and their needs. That's why uh Colbert Rust change curve is emotional response to change. It is simplified or described as that. Organizations that manage to understand their employees are, more sh are much more likely to eliminate some of the biggest barriers towards successful change management. Because most employees uh, go through the above mentioned feelings, it is extremely important to give employees or the teachers to inform or inform them and have an effective uh, education communication strategy. Lewin's change management model. It's one of the most popular accepted and effective change management model. It helps companies or schools for better understanding organizational and structural change. This model consists of three main stages which are unfreeze, change and refreeze. Unfreeze, this is the preparation stage where employers must get prepared for change or the school must be prepared for change. The crucial step here is to enhance empl open employee communication explaining why change is necessary. The goal is to overcome employees' resistance to change as much as possible. Change in this stage is uh, change, change gets implemented. Continuing on the first stage, good leadership and effective employee communication are crucial here. Refreeze. This is the stage in which change is accepted. An employee go back to their routine. This stage should be considered as almost ever going. Leaders should make sure that changes are adopted and used even after the change management objective have been achieved. Uh, why, do they, why do they like this model? Levin's change management model describes in a very simple way the main, three, the main three stages that every change management process has to go through. Pre-change, during change, and post-change. Because of its simplicity, Many organizations change or many organizations or school choose to follow this model when implementing change. In this report, we have defined and explained the components of the McKinsey 7S change management model. Let's now apply it to the real world situation, the current COVID-19 pandemic. Increased urgency. Employers are responsible for creating urgency about change. In our case, it is the Department of Education, or the DEPED. In this situation, urgency around following safety guidelines, new policies, procedures, and tips for working from home is important for the employers to ensure business continuity or education continuity. Build a team in charge of driving change. Depending on the situation, change themes uh, may include in different departments. However, Getting internal communication departments on board is not an option. It is an absolute must. In this case, other members of the team should be include change management, change management teams, crisis management and communication teams, leaders, management, and HR departments. They are all responsible for ensuring that employees stay connected, inspired, productive, even when they may be physically separated and dispersed. Align your employees with your vision or align your teachers with your vision. Your change communication plan should have a clear vision about the change. Furthermore, it should include clear goals in order 
for the employees or teacher to understand how to work together towards the goals. Setting the clear vision is the only way to get employees or teachers buy-in in the all align them with the ultimate uh, education objective or business objectives. For example, one of your change management goals right now may be around how to ensure the proper execution of education and how, the, how to ensure that employees return to work safely. Communicate your change management strategy to your employees or teachers. Once you define your vision and goals, it is crucial that you communicate them frequently, transparently, and openly with your entire workforce, even when you don't have the best news to share. Many organizations are now undergoing significant cuts and employees layoffs as the consequence of the current poor situation. Instead of leaving your employees or teachers in the dark, you need to make sure that they have the access to the important information and updates. 38% of the employees who have experienced workplace transformation say that their employer communicated effectively about the change, while 36% of employees say that their employers were honest about the changes employees would face. Regardless of change management model you use, Communicating the benefits and consequences of change should always be your priority. Here are the few questions you can uh, use in change communication plan that should include. The first one is, uh, what does change entail? Second, what are the goals? Third, how teacher's role may be impacted? Fourth, what is the time frame from it? Five, where to find and access important uh school updates six how to communicate change seven how to make sure that your teachers embrace the change get things moving when implementing change it is important to convince and support your teachers in order to mitigate the resistance and remove the roadblocks today the best support you can give to your teachers is by keeping them connected and enabling them to share their voice via two-way communication channels. Allow your teachers to ask questions, raise concern, and join their daily company or school conversation. Don't just send them a mass emails announcement or a posting announcement in their uh, group chats or group page and hope that they will read your message. 205.6 billion emails are sent globally every day. Yet, only one-third of them are, every, are ever open. That is by the campaign monitor. There are the times when many employees are experiencing extensive information overload. Hence, also be careful about sending relevant and personal information in order to get your employees' attention. Include short-term goals in your change management plans as well. Instead of just setting the final goal, of your change uh, initiative, initiative, set smaller, short-term milestones so that your employees stay motivated through the entire process. For example, if you're planning to keep remote work practice at your workplace, communicate them or communicate the remote work goals in chunks. Give your teachers a way to easily reach and uh, celebrate their success. Also, encourage them to publicly celebrate their success and the success of others. Use an internal communication solution to share their inspiring success stories with the rest of your workforce. Like uh, in your group page, you can upload your goals. Like uh, what we did in the Barat Asilio High School, we were posting our achievements in giving the distribution and retrieval of the modules. Incorporate change. Any changes happening within the organization also need to be complemented with a significant cultural transformation. Again, Proper internal communication is crucial. For 97% of companies or schools believe that cultural change is important for the digital transformation. Don't give up. Remember that change won't happen overnight. The process of change management actually never stops. So, no matter which change management model you choose to use, 
you need to make sure to continuously encourage and empower your teachers to stay aligned. The current situation is the perfect example to illustrate this point. We all know that COVID-19 is nowhere close to end and be done. It will also have a significant impact on the business and the school educator sector across the world in the near future. Remember that employee communication is the keystone of every change management model. Within organization, change initiatives mostly come from the top to down. However, ultimately, it is the employees of your organization who have to change how they do their jobs or your teachers. If these individuals are unsuccessful with their personal transition, if they don't embrace change and learn a new way of working, the initiative will fail. On the other side, align your, your employees or teacher with your school goals will not be an easy task. As we saw from the above mentioned models, employee communication is a central part of every change management model. If your employees or your teachers are not on board, implementing change will be extremely challenging. Information gathering and preparation. Before you can implement change management in higher education or elementary school levels, you should understand how change will impact the stakeholders. This allow you to head off a potential resistance and ensure training process will be adequate. And implementing change in school, some of the process in this information gathering and preparation stage include impact assessment, readiness assessment, project assessment, stakeholder analysis, creating a change champion network, preparing for resistance management, creating a change management roadmap. Executing change management in school is a doing the part of your change management process. This is when you'll need to be implementing change in school procedure and process according to your roadmap. This requires excellent communication awareness on how the change is being received and the ability to adjust your organizational change in education according to their circumstances. Some of your process you'll go through while leading changes in school during the stage include change in training plan, communication plan, coaching leadership, stakeholder management. Reinforcing the change in education. When you're leading a change in education, it is easy for people to fall back into old habits and not sustain the new procedures. If you haven't gone through your reinforcement stage and leading the management change in education, too often, people will think that after the go-life date, their job is done after a change management in educational institution goes. But people that have gone through the change need uh, need to have the continued support to help freeze to those behavior. Some of the ways you can help reinforce change management in higher education, high school and primary, sco uh, primary schools are continue to check in regularly with the teachers to see how things are going create a change management in education, fact pitch as well as, as well as help for resource. Request stakeholder feedback to assess change management in school. Offer support stakeholders with questions about their organization change in the education or uh, they just gone through. People are naturally resistant to change, so managing their experience and feeling about the change is important. Uh, people are going through their own individual process while you are implementing change in school, so the resistance, fears, anxiety, and other change-related feelings need to be addressed. One of the models that help visualize the journey you need to stakeholders through when implementing change management in these schools are called the ADCAR. How do head teachers manage change in school? In reviewing change management in higher education and primary education, we found some tips from the head teacher on how to handle change management in school. According to Dr. Richard Stewart, a head teacher at the Woodruff School, offered the following tips to educators to change management education. First is remember that change is constant. Developing coping strategies to manage rapid organizational change in education. Delegate duties involved in change management in school. Third, or fourth, don't panic. A change project can be adjusted if things aren't going as planned. And last, use the school-to-school -school collaboration for ideas from others on change management in education.
In promoting change in education, uh, once a change has been implemented that impacts students, how can teachers help promote the change in the education process? Change management in school requires all hands on the deck approach. While, uh, while those managers implementing change in school can help drive the change and make it happen. Teachers are often needed to promote the change daily until it sticks with the students. Here are some tips for teachers for promoting sustaining, uh, for promoting and sustaining and leading a change in school in their classroom. The first one is set a good example. If students see a teacher doing something the old way, they'll think it is okay to do that too. It's essential to model a positive change example. Second, set clear rules and guidelines. If rules need to be updated due to organizational change in education, make sure they're changed accordingly so there are no conflicting instructions. Communicate and be mindful. Use every opportunity to communicate about the change, why it was done, and the benefits to everyone. Mindfully mention the benefits of the change whether they are being experienced in the classroom. Last, use positive reinforcement. Change management and education require positive reinforcement to motivate students to sustain newly changed behaviors. In conclusion, the best guide for change management in education is no matter how often someone is leading change in the educational institution, it can cause resentment, anxiety, and feeling of persistence. That is why it is most important to follow proper change management in education models. Change management models and methodologies offers a roadmap to navigating both the process and people outside of change. Going to a change management process when implementing change in schools can help ensure a change process or project is successful and procedures the desired or produce the desired result. It can also help those impacted by the change get through its feeling excited about the change rather than resisting it. Criticism is like a rain should be gentle enough to nourish a man's growth without destroying his roots by frank a clark thank you for watching